Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. I appreciate you joining me today. My name is Neil, if you're new, and today we're taking a look at two jerseys. We've got the Quebec Nordiques Adidas Classics jersey that they just came out with a couple of months ago versus the Reverse Retro, which is an Aero Ready, and this was produced roughly a year before this one or a year and a half before this one. But they're two completely different jerseys. They're both technically Adidas, but they are very, very different jerseys. We're going to dissect and compare every aspect, well, I maybe mean not every aspect, but the majority of aspects between these jerseys, the materials on the shoulders, the arms, the underarms, uh, the main section of the torso here, the logos, everything on these jerseys. I've taken comparison photos, and uh, I thought we'd just kind of talk about it. I will say that I, you know, I have a lot of jerseys because I talk about all the teams in every video. I, I switch up, uh, you know, my jersey, my hat and stuff. I'm wearing St. Louis today, just randomly. So I, I like to collect jerseys, I like to talk about jerseys, but I should say I'm not an expert on jerseys by any means. There's lots of stuff that I don't know. Um, just just putting that out there. This is not going to be a necessarily educational video. I'm just um, having a genuine conversation and more of a reaction to these jerseys side by side than anything else. So. Let's bring up the first one here. I got it on my screen, but I'll make it full screen for you guys. All right, so seeing them side by side, like obviously there's a lot of similarities here, but there are some specific really different changes. The fleur de lis, for example, those are almost identical other than color, obviously. The size, the style, the stitching, extremely close. But the primary logo on both are very, very different. The classics jersey on the right, that has three separate physical elements of the logo, which has to be heat pressed on, uh, you know, individually, they're not even touching. Whereas on the left, the actual reverse retro, more typical style of Adidas jersey that we're used to, that's, you know, there's still three elements there, but they're all connected. It's one big giant crest, basically. So th there, there is quality differences. There is uh, de decision differences as far as how they're applied. And uh, we'll look a little bit closer at those here in a minute. But first impressions, you can see the, the difference in material right away. You can see the logo, which I just talked about, the difference. The shoulder material is different. The neck is different. Essentially, this is a completely different jersey. So the, really the intention behind this video is to prove to you that Adidas Classics jerseys are not the same as regular Adidas retail, Air Ready, Climalite, or Prime Green jerseys. Completely different beast, not only in material, but actual design as well. And I have a really good example of that later in a photo. But let's move on to the next one. And this is what I was talking about. Uh, you know, we're looking at the close up of the logo here. You can see the separation between the elements on the right on the Classics jersey, where on the left, which is the uh, reverse retro, that's con that piece is literally connected to that primary element of the crest or that primary section of the crest. So I think there, without question, there's also layers to the one on the left as well. Without question, the quality of crest of logo goes to the prime green jersey, or sorry, not the prime green jersey, the reverse retro jersey. That's like, that's not even an opinion at this point. It is fact. Additionally, on the right, the Classics jersey, that hockey stick shape, that's extremely flexible and, and thin and malleable vinyl. And it is it is so questionable, I think is maybe the, the right word. After having the jersey in my hands and manipulating that and stuff, I have genuine concerns that that will develop a crease where the logo on the left and the reverse retro, that is a thick boy and I have no concerns there whatsoever. So. Uh, the logo on the on the reverse retro it takes the cake on this one. Next up is the fleur de lis. So, like I said, these are extremely similar, if not identical. Actually, the thickness is is the same. The stitching uh, pattern is is the same as well. The size is the same. Really, the only true difference here is is maybe the color. I can't actually notice anything else that's uh, you know better on one or worse on the other. They're they're really, really close. So uh, this one I would consider to be a tie. Now, if you move back to the logo, actually, I wanna show the difference of, of the primary element of both of the logos, the big giant piece. And actually, I've gotta give credit here to the Nordiques Classics jersey, because that one, um, the quality of that section is actually really good. So if you flop over to the left side on the reverse retro, you can see uh, one, two, and then al almost basically three layers going on, where on the one on the right, the, the classic jersey, there's kind of two layers going on. While I prefer the one on the left in the reverse retro, I also think that feel-wise and, and optically and visually, the one on the right in the classic jersey is very good. So. I, I'm gonna give it to the reverse retro just because I prefer that look and style. 
but barely. Okay, I, I actually really, really like the way that the um, the, the classics logo uh, looks here on this one. So um, that one, that one's very close. Okay, moving on to the next section, and that's going to be material quality. This is the primary material used in the uh, torso section, the middle section of the jersey. What the majority of the jersey is actually made up of. Now, actually, looking up close, you would you might prefer the one on the right. It looks a little bit more uniform. The holes look high quality, if, if you can even say that. It just it, you know it looks like it's pretty good quality. And on the left, it feels a bit meshy and maybe maybe too stretchy or something. Uh, but the visually, this is a bit deceiving. After wearing both of these jerseys, after feeling and stretching and just kind of manipulating both of these jerseys, I strongly think that the reverse retro material, the actual Adidas material, is definitely better than the classic material. The classics material isn't bad. It's just a little bit thin and it does feel like, you know, if I caught it on something that was even remotely sharp, that it would tear easily. Where on the reverse retro on the left, um, I've actually done that before. I've kind of caught it on some things and only once has it actually, you know, ripped a thread out or, or torn or anything like that. Um, so I've had pretty good luck with the material on the reverse retro regular Adidas jersey. I am very concerned about the, the classics one, just because it's so thin, like in your hand, it doesn't look thin when you in, in this image, but it really is thin, so I definitely have concerns there. Moving to the next one, we're gonna look at the material underneath the arm, and I guess I kind of missed the focus here. Uh, so the, the regular Adidas jersey on the left is a bit out of focus, I apologize for that. But you can still tell about uh, the material here. So underneath the arm on the Nordiques classics one, the one on the right, is generally the same as the regular material in the middle of the body. It's slightly different, just very slightly different, uh, but it is, it is pretty much identical. Now, there's a drastic difference of the one on the reverse retro on the left. That is, you know, these materials are very close to one another, actually. They're not that different, so I'm gonna give this one a tie. I think that uh, the stretchiness and visually, they're very close, so I can't really go either way on this one. Now, comparing the shoulders, there's a, there's an extreme difference here. I think one thing that the Adidas regular jerseys do, which is the reverse retro on the left, they're, one of their biggest strong suits is their shoulders. I love the way that they've designed their shoulders. They're extremely thick and robust, and they're comfortable, and they're just really, really high quality. So I can't say enough good things about the jersey on the left, the reverse retro, but the one on the right, I mean, that, you know, we're familiar with this material. It's everywhere on this jersey. There's not really a lot of material changes on the classics jersey. That material is generally the same as the one, uh, as you know, as the pieces in the the front of the jersey and underneath the arms. The only real connecting pieces are the stitching. It's not two different materials coming together. So I, it's it, I will say that it makes it a comfortable but I still prefer the reverse retro, the regular Adidas style to wear and to look at. Moving on to the sleeves. So the bottom of the arm specifically, you can see that the material uh, remains in the Nordiques Classics jersey all the way down further to the bottom of the sleeve, whereas the reverse retro actually has a bit of separation higher. I don't think I necessarily have any preference here. Uh, they both feel fine when you wear it. Uh, we've already talked about material, so I can't really say much about that. Um, there, there, there are other concerns I have about the Classics arm, and it's not at the bottom of the jersey. Let's move on to the next one. Here it is. So I think this is really the selling point behind the Adidas Classics jerseys. The thickness, you can visually tell. I don't even have to explain it to you. You can visually tell how much thicker and wider the classics arm is compared to the reverse retro and that is a you know that's a, as a common complaint from people who are maybe a little bit taller a little bit bigger and thicker there's not enough space in the adidas jerseys and i can absolutely see that complaint and they like the more classic style jerseys the older jerseys because the arms are a little bit bigger and they don't feel trapped in it so I think the Classics jersey here really does have something going for it for those styles of bodies. And I'm actually really glad that they did that because that also speaks true to to those classic ones. Like that's that really is how jerseys were made back then and not so much now. So they, I think they made the right decision here. I think this jersey would totally appeal to people like that. And uh, it's good to have those jerseys on the market because, um, you know, bodies are, are completely different and you want to have jerseys that's going to fit really everyone. So it's good to have those options out there. I prefer the Adidas regular jersey on the left just because it fits my body uh, shape a little bit better. The one on the right is very loose on me and uh, I, I don't think that I would necessarily want to have that if I'm wearing it out or to a game. It could easily catch on something for me. So I, again, I completely understand why 
why someone would prefer that, and that's amazing that it's available. I'm actually not gonna give this to e either way. I, I prefer the regular Adidas jersey, but I think it's amazing that they have this option. So no winner here, just two really good options, I think. All right, so we've inversed the jerseys here. You can really see how these are heat pressed and how these are applied to the jersey. I think that the fleur de lis along the left on the reverse retro appears to be done a little bit better, but that could just be the stitching color. I really have no opinion here. I'm not very educated when it comes to um, styles and execution on, on this stuff. So I, I really have no opinion. I just wanted to include this photo really for transparency so you guys can form your own opinions um, because I'm sure that there's lots more educated people out there than I am. So I just wanted to include this. Let's move on to the final one, which isn't really a comparison. It's just really a call out to this awesome patch. I really love these patches in the back of the Classics jersey. And I can say that I love the regular Adidas jerseys all I want, but I really have to remain objective and look at this, uh, you know, completely unbiasedly, this classic jersey completely unbiasedly. And objectively, this, you know, the back of the neck, the inside of the neck here in this patch is phenomenal. I really like it. The patch feels classic. It makes me nostalgic. It's a kind of an off white. And then to the right of that, you've got the call out to the year, a smaller version of the logo call back to the team as well. So I think they just did a really, really good job of the inside of the neck here inside of the collar. And I'm, I'm a big, big fan of, of that. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. I didn't take a photo of the regular Adidas jersey because you know most of you guys have, have seen that stuff. If you've got 200 coins to throw out, 100% go with the regular Adidas prime green jersey. But if body shape, body style, and fit, maybe you're a little bit bigger, nothing wrong with that at all. You're a little bit bigger, want some more room. I highly recommend going with the Classics jersey. They're the, roughly the same price. So, you know, if you're really looking for that extra room in the arms specifically, I would highly recommend going for that classic style. It's, it's a thinner material. It's not going to keep you as warm. It's going to easily fit over uh, hoodies or sweaters and stuff like that. So it's, it's, you know, it has its positives for sure. But as far as quality, specific material quality, the regular Adidas jersey gets it, whether it's a prime green, whether it's a reverse retro, a aero ready or a light, it doesn't really matter. All the materials of those jerseys are better quality than the classic style. And uh, again, it comes down to personal preference as well. Maybe you don't like this Adidas style material. Maybe you want the classic style, a little bit more breathable, a little bit more stretchy and thin as well. So really at the end of the day, my conclusion is maybe there's not a right answer broadly. I think it really comes down to the person. If the money is the same, preference then goes to the jersey style versus price. Like price is usually the thing that you look at the most because if you're buying a Fanatics jersey versus an Adidas jersey, okay, well, Adidas jersey is $200 regular price and a Fanatics jersey is like, what, $130, $150 or something like that. If if you're price conscious, you're going after the Fanatics jersey. You don't really care about the material quality and stuff, but taking price out of it since they're re regularly or generally the same, Classics versus Adidas, you gotta look at the materials, you gotta look at the fit, what's your preference, and just kinda go for it. I don't necessarily think there's a wrong decision. I don't plan on buying any more Classics jerseys unless I see one on sale. I did buy that one for full price. I, I don't have a Nordic jersey in my collection other than the uh, Reverse Retro, you know, other than, than this one here. But uh, I, wanted a, I wanted a real kind of blue, rich, beautiful Nordiques jersey in my collection. So that's the reason I bought that. But I do have no intentions of buying any other unless they go on sale. But I appreciate Adidas doing that. I think it's good to be innovative. I think it's good to kind of do a callback, I think, to, to older jerseys, older teams, and then offer, you know, offer the jerseys with some, a little bit more room, a, a different material. It's not my preference, but it's, it's great that they have that option out there. So I appreciate Adidas doing, doing that. If you get, got one of these jerseys and if you have an opinion on it and you want to compare it to an, a, one of your Adidas jerseys, please leave your review or your opinion down below in the comment section. Would love to read that. And I'm sure that other viewers would as well if they're out shopping and looking for something. So hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well because I talk jerseys a lot on this channel. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.